Yo, what is up guys? For today I'm bringing you Python, the ritual weapon for Season of Dawn. And obviously we're talking about Destiny 2, but for real, I'm going to be real quick about this. I think this weapon's amazing. It's probably the best ritual weapon in this season so far. So the sidearm and the linear fusion rifle, although they are okay, the Python is probably the best thing you'll get, especially if you do not have a one-two punch shotgun. On your secondary slot so in my opinion this is well worth it scoop it up it has perks that actually make it seem like really weird but it's so viable so before we start talking about the weapon itself let's look at how you get the weapon itself so you're gonna have to go to the drifter and collect the quest called the get closer quest whatever and you're gonna have to get 150 close range final blows with a shotgun 500 final blows with a shotgun and then all you have to go is to heroic for for the infamy rank so obviously you guys are probably looking at the 500 final blows with a shotgun now it is very daunting i will give you that but the really cool thing about this specifically is that if you if you go in and kill an invader or you invade yourself you actually get 10 points Per person that you kill so you could either get 500 kills in gambit or you can get 50 kills but it has to be invading kills or invader kills so 50 kills versus 500 you could do it like how i did it and essentially just kill everything with a shotgun i had my last man standing and my tractor cannon at, as my uh heavy which meant that I just kept getting kills with a shotgun. Not only that, but it, Tractor Cannon actually does do decent amount of work. Although, if, if you're killing an invader, their overshield will take the brunt of it. So, most likely you have to hit them with the Tractor Cannon, swap out to your shotgun, and then kill them off that way. So, yes, this weapon is a grind, but like I said, it's a really good one-two punch shotgun in my opinion. I actually think it's better than the last man standing although I have seen some last man standings that have range that surpass this one so there's a bit of give and take here but I think what's really amazing is the perks so let's get into that real quick so if you as you guys can see it's an aggressive frame hard hitting hard, high recoil increased rate of fire after kill I think this is kind of a mistake because this isn't you're not going to be getting kills with this shotgun if you're doing the one two punch method you're never gonna kill anything with the with the shotgun. You're gonna be killing stuff with the melee. So for me, this one's kind of useless in my opinion. And then small bore, I would have liked anything better than small bore to be honest. But I mean, whatever. Extended mag, which does increase our mag size up by five, which is nice. Now overflow. This is where it starts getting really nutty. Picking up a special and or heavy ammo reloads this weapon to beyond normal capacity. This one is amazing because. If you put a backup mag, it goes up to six, you'll essentially have 12 when you pick up special or heavy. 12 shots on a one-two punch shotgun. Keep in mind that if you're using Liar's Handshake, Shake, Syntheseps, uh, Worm God Caress, Winter's Guile, I think that's the one. If you're using any of those, you're literally shooting once, hitting twice, shooting once, hitting twice. And when you're doing Gambit Prime or Gambit, it 12 shots is going to last you forever. I have a one small step right now with one two punch and auto loading holster and my magazine's eight and that feels like forever. So having an extra four bullets in the chamber is just wild. Overflow for me, in my opinion, is going to be amazing. This is probably the best perk to pick over Feeding Frenzy. Granted, I know you guys are thinking, Tony, you love Feeding Frenzy. You love that shit. I know I love Feeding Frenzy. I absolutely adore Feeding Frenzy. But unfortunately, like I said before with the barrel, you're not going to be getting kills with this shotgun. So essentially, Feeding Frenzy is kind of useless, especially when anything would have been better than Feeding Frenzy for this I mean, a perfect one probably would have been auto loading holster. To be honest with you, auto loading holster, firmly planted. There's a there's a few other ones that I would have preferred over feeding frenzy, but in general, I mean, 
this will be a good shotgun to use if you're not using one two punch but i mean there's other shotguns on the secondary slot that do a better job like i said last man standing i've seen that gun have range for days and it drops with almost all of these except i think freedom frenzy maybe so the second one is going to be shield disorient and obviously one two punch now shield disorient's nice but i just I would have preferred something else to be honest. Shield disorient, like I said, it's not bad. It's just very situational. You have to hit something that matches your shield or the shield that they are. So if you don't hit something with void, this is useless. So in my opinion, if in my opinion, if they really wanted to make this really versatile, it this should have dropped with Swashbuckler. Oh my god, Swashbuckler or Rampage. That would have been awesome because then you would feel the need. Okay, now I can do Feeding Frenzy with Swashbuckler or Feeding Frenzy with Rampage. That would have been nice. So, or Multi-Kill Clip. Like, it would have been nice to have that because then you would have been like, all right, yeah, I can actually use this in other situations. But because they put Shield Disorient and Feeding Frenzy with no, like, damaging perk, it's just kind of like, uh, you're one-two punch shotgun. That's it. That's all you are going to be. And it's, it's a very unfortunate because... This could have been a shotgun that could have been very versatile or could have been used by pretty much any everything. So that's a missed opportunity in my opinion, but that's basically just Bungie at this point. But I actually do have a last man standing with one two punch and auto loading holster, which I think is really good because once you're done destroying the boss and you didn't kill him, just put your shotgun away and it'll reload without you even thinking. So for me, that's awesome. I love that. But my range is probably not as bad as Python's, but it's still like not that great either. But I don't, like I said, what Python brings to the table is the fact that it brings six bullets if you put a, a backup mag on it and it has overflow, which means you can have potentially 12 shots in this shotgun over my six shots. But I really love this shotgun. I can't I can't speak enough about it. I haven't used it that much because I literally just got it like two or three hours ago, but I immediately knew I was gonna I know this is gonna shotgun's gonna be amazing. It doesn't matter. The range honestly does not matter too much cons considering you're gonna be dick close to the boss that you're gonna be killing. So range to me I never really cared about, but it's the fact that overflow and one two punch are together which is like what the fuck like immediately i was like this is this makes me moist and i love it so don't sleep on the shotgun guys this shotgun's gonna be amazing especially if you do not have a one-two punch shotgun like i said before if you guys have let me know what you guys think about the shotgun me personally like i said i really love this shotgun i am kind of bummed out that there's no skin for the shotgun like there hasn't been any like if you guys don't know, we used to have pinnacle art or pinnacle weapon skins, and those were awesome. They 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 made the sh they made the weapons look amazing. So I feel like that's really unfortunate that we don't have that anymore. Considering that sometimes the skins made the the weapon even better. Like it just kills me that we don't have that anymore. Especially for a python, which I think is probably the strongest PVE. Ritual weapon that we have so far. I was going to say Randy's. But Randy's is more PV PVE cater, PvP catered. So Python in my opinion is probably the best. Unless I'm just forgetting about one. I mean I could think about maybe. Maybe exit strategy. But in my opinion it's not that strong of a weapon. For me to like warrant like oh shit this is actually viable. Eh not, not really. It's most of a, mostly just kind of a gun you fuck around with. Edgewise is pretty good. I initially did not like it, but the more I used it, the more I'm like, hey, Edgewise is fine. So don't sleep on the shotgun, guys. Like I said before, the shotgun's really good. I actually really love it right now. And I'm just happy that I got it because that was the last one that I needed. And it's funny that I do the Python first, considering... I got the buzzard first, then the linear fusion rifle, then python, but the linear fusion rifle, to be honest, is really just not my cup of tea. I will be doing a review and guide of it, but to be honest, to be frank, I'm not feeling it at all, so look out for that video. If you guys want to let me know what you guys think about the shotgun, 
my comments are always open to you guys. I really appreciate and love talking to you guys. And I'd like to thank everyone who continues to like, follow, subscribe, comment. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. And if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. And I will see you guys later.